I wouldn't have any tears left because I've just cried so much. Um, it's like I built this channel and this whole brand around being this man's wife and trying to teach other women how to attract good men and provider men and all these different things. And um, I truly held my husband or saw him as the bar um, for what every woman should, you know, type of man that or type of husband that every woman should aspire to have and um, I didn't realize that the person I married was actually going to be my biggest nightmare well let me give you some backstory of what's going on here so this individual is known as a trophy wife she used to do trophy things make trophy content about how to snag a rich man I got a lot to say about this one. Because, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and give you the synopsis. There's no need to watch the video. I've watched it so many times, I don't want to hear it no more. This young lady ends up going to say that this, uh, this man that she married ended up touching the, uh, touching the children that, she, that him and her had together. So he ended up touching the children. Um, and he's a sick man. And... When they first got together, he actually forced her to do some things, if you know what I mean. So, that's the gist of it. That's what this whole video is about. She got with a man. He touched the kids. He touched her. Now, what's the problem with this video? What's the pr One, the video doesn't really give you anything. She just simply says, this is what it is. He touched my kids. We left. I got a problem with it always seeming like when a woman... Listen, and this is going to sound like I'm like I'm victim blaming or anything like that, because I'm not flat out not. I want to start off by saying this. Those kids that were touched are still on her page. What the, the picture on her page, I believe, on her community post showing the kids and showing their names. It's a sick thing for her to be doing. And you also aired out your children's business, your whole family's business. And for what reason? Why would you air out your children's business like that? What just happened to them, if true, is a completely awful, disgusting thing. And now that anywhere they go, if you ever continue to blow up on YouTube or anything like that, your kids are going to be able to go nowhere. You know why? Because you have a picture of them up with their names. So people are going to know exactly who they are when they watch this video because now it's gone viral. With 2 million views, you have just opened up your children to so much stuff. So many times, if they're going to a public school, they're going to get told this and that. If they get homeschooled, and they have any friends, they're going to see this video and be like, hey, you didn't say this or that. And these are babies. These are young, young little kids. They barely know what's going on in the world. They're going to have people saying stuff to them or treating them a certain way. They're not going to understand what the fuck is going on because you just aired out all their business. And for what? I get it that it was a horrible thing, but that's something you deal with when it comes to your community and it comes to the police. So you need to continue to go down that, that route. Don't bring it onto fucking YouTube. Listen, guys, YouTube is not a fucking place where you have to air out everything that happens to you. It's not a place to get any kind of sympathy. There's no reason to tell this story because, if, yes, it did happen. You can simply say, hey, guys, something happened to my family. I'm done with YouTube. I'm done with this. Don't air out your kids' business. YouTube is not for that. You're going to ruin these young kids' lives. Young, and it's just, it's, I know it's a horrible thing that has happened. See, I know you're feeling horrible when you did that, but I think it's wise for you to just take the video down and get rid of all of it because the kids are now in jeopardy or in trouble. And... For you guys, you know, this young lady went on to show that she has a GoFundMe. Now, here's one of my awesome issues. While she was making all her YouTube videos, which was mainly about how to get a rich man, how to snag your rich guy, how to make the first move, know, all this other kind of stuff, <clears throat> how to get him to stay with you. She had already been forced to do things while she was making those videos. So this is a deceptive person. It is a deceptive person. I don't care how you slice it, guys. This person was deceiving us, lying to us. You got to ask yourself why. Like, why would you make nobody? 
Why make these videos saying, here's how you snag a good man, when you obviously had a man who, before you even knew about the kids, was already doing bad stuff to you? And see, what it bothers me so much is because what it makes it seem like, I mean, I'm not, not even going to put all this on her, but people always take full advantage to say, ah, see, this is why, men you can't get with a rich man. But see, here's the problem. When it comes to men, I'm going to defend not this man. I'm not defending that man, but I want to defend men in general here. When you're a broke man, you get called dusty. You get called not worth shit. You don't even deserve a date. You don't deserve no time of talking to. You're you're you're, you're a disgusting person. You're a middle class man. Still not enough. You don't deserve any respect. You'll be happy to even get a woman. Yes, you can pay and do a little bit, but just know that you're that might not come with any respect because you still don't make enough to be wealthy. If you are wealthy. Well, you're just trying to control your woman. You're trying to have dominance over her. And you just want a woman so that you can leave her and cheat on her and leave her with nothing. And so what it, what it comes out to is that men, and no matter what their social class, they're horrible people. Somebody brought up that this was like Diary of a Mad Black Woman, where a rich man was dating a woman and he was beating her. Guys, why do we always have to find some fucking reason to say that men are horrible? That what that young what that young man, this is an older man. What this man did to his kids or did to her makes him a fucking horrible person. It has nothing to do with him being rich. It has nothing to do with him being wealthy. It has nothing to do with money at all. It all has to do with the fact that he decided to do something evil and corrupt. It has nothing to do with money. But she took this opportunity to always be pushing, get a rich man, get wealthy, do all this stuff. Now, she wasn't a huge YouTube channel to start with. This video just happened to blow her up. But it's always that same thing. Some people were going as far to blame She-Ra 7. Now, I'm not a fan of She-Ra. But to be fair to her, She-Ra did make a video. And she was talking about, she don't tell women to go out there and um, get with just any man. She says to do background checks. She says to make sure you know what you're doing. She's just an entertainer at the end of the day, guys. I don't see Shira Seven as this horrible person. Now, she does make some stuff that doesn't make sense because she's been married for so long. She ain't out here on the dating market. So I don't agree with everything she says because her mindset is kind of the whole dusty, sprinkle, sprinkle, do this stuff. You're really telling women who can't get those kind of men to do that. So you're really failing women and putting them in a place where they feel like they have to do what this young lady may have done. Not saying it's Shira's fault. I'm simply saying that the message that can be conveyed can make women like this get very confused and be like, well, I got to get a man who's rich. I can't get with a dusty, crusty guy. I got to get with somebody who's wealthy. I got to get with somebody who's going to make me, who's going to pay all my bills. And so you're going to get the first chance you get with the, the first chance you get to find a man in this manner, you're going to take full advantage of it. Why? Because you have been taught that if you can't get a man who's worth anything, you're going to do everything to get him. It's a disgusting thing that we have started to do in this world. I'm so we just got done making a video about OnlyFans models, which unfortunately, guys, I made a video about OnlyFans models and how they have no soul. But I really directed the video at the men as well. It's a fucking excellent video. Um, but I'm going to have to figure out how to put that back up. I still have the live stream, so I still have it recorded, but I just got to make sure everything is good. But nonetheless, I may just cut down some parts and just have me talk. But my point was made very crystal clear, very crystal clear. If you chase money, if you chase money, you will run yourself into the ground. It is not money that's a bad thing. It's the love of money that leads to all these things. And to be honest, and I'm just going to give my honest opinion on this woman. I don't trust. It. She could be absolutely right in everything that she's saying. She started to go for me, which is already kind of shady to me. You're putting your kid, you're profiting off of your kid's pain. But it's hard for me to trust her because she was still telling women to do all these things when her entire marriage was a complete shambles. A person who can deceive people like that and get the little ad money that she was getting and deceive these women is disgusting to me. I, I don't trust a woman like that. So maybe what she's saying is true. Maybe it's not. I can't trust somebody like that at all. What she has done is hurt a bunch of other women and told them to go get a rich man when they didn't need one. Most women aren't going to get wealthy men because the wealthy men don't exist in mass. Here's what it is, guys. 
Ladies, I got no problem with you being hypergamous. I've already made a whole video on that. I made it into a bunch of different um, videos. I have no problem with women being hypergamous. I have no problem with um, men paying all the bills and providing everything. I got no problem with that. It's a different story when you lust after it, though. A woman who wants a man to provide so she can take care of the house or take care of the family or whatever, there's no harm in that. But a woman's like, ah, I got to get with the man because I need his money. I want to take all his money. I want to have the, the princess life. I want to travel. That doesn't sound like a person who needs that life. A person that sounds like a person who's sick in the head. I'm being honest with you. A person who's only dating a man simply, simply for his money, not for the fact that he can provide or that he we can, you know, can help you do stuff in life where you can stay home and really raise a family or stuff like that. that no, you want a man simply so you can live a certain lifestyle. That's sick, ladies. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with women being hypergamous. I have a problem with women who want to go after men that gets to a certain lifestyle because just like this young lady, and I'll agree with this part of it. I, like I said, I don't trust her. But for the women who did get do get in these places where they find themselves being controlled by somebody who makes more money than them, <clears throat> if you just pursue a man just for the money and he's just a pocketbook, you're screwed. Because you're going to look past anything. Because what you got to understand is, no, not every wealthy man is an evil person, but there are evil men who are wealthy. There are men who are out there who will harm you who are, who are wealthy. So if you only pursue men because of the money, you're going to look past a lot of things. The first time he slaps you, you're probably going to look past it. The first time he says, you're going to give me what I want. Remember, these are the men of, of money and means. They're going to get what they want, how they want. You're going to let it go. Okay? And though I don't believe in infidelity, these men are going to have options. And they may explore those options. And you may get kicked to the curb. And that's why you got to be careful. You just want to go after a man for his money to show off to your girlfriends. It's just stupid. It's dumb. And you're going to put yourself in a place that you'll never be able to ever call back out of. You'll never be able to call back out of that hole and you'll be done for life. I don't want that for anybody. I'm always going to be a man's advocate, but I'm always on the men's ass. Once again, I'm going to put out a video tomorrow. You'll see about the, the only fan girls. I, I am very much always getting on the men. But at the same time, it's like women, you got to take some fucking accountability. I mean, what the fuck are we doing? It can't always be the man's fault because something went. That's what's so frustrating about these situations. It's always the man's fault that you fucked up. And I have to say this to women all the time when they're like, oh, well, every guy I dated was horrible. Every guy I hated I lied. Every guy I hated was uh, cheated on me. Well, that's who the fuck you kept choosing. Don't blame every man for the man you the men you choose. What the fuck are we talking about? If I dated women who were only ratchet and were sleeping, cheated on me every time I got with them, then I need to look in the mirror and be like, what women am I choosing? Am I choosing a certain type of woman? Am I choosing women that seem to be very promiscuous? Women that I know kind of get around and I choose to get with them anyway? Then why did I get with her? Oh, because she had a fat ass? Oh, yeah, that's why I got her. She got a fat ass and the sex was okay. Let's be honest, ladies. Sometimes you get with the man because the sex is good or because the money is great. And if you look past all that and things go wrong, that's what's frustrating, guys. I don't mind giving people sympathy or empathy. I don't I don't mind looking at people and going, well, you know, that really sucks. But damn it, it can't be every single woman that makes a mistake. We have to bow down and go, we got to take care of her. We got to call to her. Sometimes you got to let women sit in it. There are humans at the end of the day. Sometimes you got to sit in your shit and just look stupid. OK, I'm not I'm not asking or uh, I am not letting anybody off the hook for when they do evil stuff. I'm not doing that. But not every situation is this horrible. I'm simply talking about situation where a woman gets with the man, she gets cheated on or something doesn't go great. Sometimes it's just like, fuck, you keep choosing these kind of men. And it's and it sucks because horrible things happen. They do. I mean, guys, we see stuff all day, every day where we see people getting car crashes because they're going too fast in the fucking car. We see people get them get themselves knocked out and head busted on the cement because they wanted to get in a fight over something petty. We see people get shoot them up bang bang because they decided that they run their mouth about something that wasn't that important. Terrible things happen to people and it is horrible. But what sucks even more about this whole situation, though. <clears throat> I can always get in the women, the children, 
the fucking kids, man, that had nothing to do with this bullshit get born into a world where now their mother has blasted them all over the internet, their their business, something that they're going to have to have years of fucking therapy to get over. And the kids that have, the kids didn't want to be a part of this. And the only thing we can boil it down to is the only reason you got with this man because of the fucking money. He didn't even know who he was. Now the kids have to suffer. That's a horrible thing, man. That's why accountability is so important because if you just take responsibility and just take your L and say, you know what, I'm just going to be broke. It just is what it is. And yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to work and I'm going to have to do things. It's okay. I got no problem with you admitting to that. But when the kids get fucked up, it's like a little bit harder to have love in my heart and just be like, oh, you poor thing. Fuck you. What about the children, man? What about the kids? Because I can't trust women who talk like this. I just can't. It's hard. It's hard. And like I said, I don't know what happened. But if the kids really did get harmed in this, it's a horrible situation. So you got to take some fucking accountability for you doing something so stupid. Now, I did make a video also talking about how men control women. Oh, I actually haven't put that video out. <laughs> well, I'm going to put out a video similar to this talking about how men control women with money and how much I disagreed with that sentiment that most men with money control women. But I will say this. There are men who do want to do that. So, ladies, when you are trying to pursue a man with wealth, which I got no problem with, I got no problem with women. If y'all want to pursue a man who can take care of everything, love it. Please, for the love of God, don't make that your only thing that you're pursuing. Do not be that damn desperate. I mean, it's not that serious. Because what the hell is what's what's so horrible about living a middle class life? Getting with a man, and yes, you're probably gonna have to work, and y'all gonna struggle together. But there's so many fucking marriages that are loving, where the woman goes to work, the man goes to work, and they raise the kids the best they can. That can be a loving relationship, and that can be fine. That may not be it has to go. You don't have to live a life where you're on yachts every day. It just doesn't have to be that way. It just doesn't. And most of y'all aren't going to get that anyway. Why does it have to be that way? Go get married for other reasons. If you happen to find a man who does that, great. If that's what you want to pursue, fine. But if you get to a point where you find yourself being desperate, where you're like, I got to die for this, I'll, I'll take anything I can get. That's the problem. You want to get a man, like I said, who's... And not just money, but a whole host of thing. Just like the whole high value thing. You need all those characteristics. Useful to the group. Other people acknowledge he's high value. And all these things. All these extra things that can come with that. The money is the, the, money is the starter. But then there's a lot of other stuff that comes with that. And those are the things that make the person high value, if that's what you want to call it. And look for those things. If you want to provide a mail, get that. And then look for the other stuff. Is he useful to the group? Do other people talk highly of him? You know, do all these other things. Oh, yeah, he's this, he's that. Because, ladies, just be, just because they are rare, and you may try to go for that one wealthy man. You find out he's not a good person. Excuse me. You find out he's not a good person. Leave. Go back to the middle class life. It's okay. Because just like I just said about an hour ago, don't sell your soul for this money. The love of money is going to destroy y'all, man. And it's going to destroy your family. Stay away. Do whatever you want to do when it comes to getting your bread, getting you a man that makes money. But please, for the love of God, stop pursuing just the money. Just the money. It will. I'm done.